are set for the vacant WBO featherweight championship bout. Let's get the official introductions from the one and only Jimmy Lennon Jr. The renowned two-time Olympic gold medalist introducing Vasily Lomachenko. No losses, 14 wins coming by way of knockout. Currently ranked the WBO number one world contender. And tonight making his first attempt at a world title. Introducing the undefeated Mr. Gary Russell Jr. Virgin paths. You ready? You ready? Veteran referee Jack Reese calls for the opening bell. Vasily Lomachnir in the white with gold trim. Russell Jr. known for for Russell Lomachenko, a better body puncher and a little bigger, as you point out. One thing Russell has to be careful. He's got fast hands, but he's always throwing up punch notice in his career. He's got to be careful and mix up the speed tonight because Lomachenko can get his timing. Cup. In April, Golden Boy outbid top ranked by a mere 25 in the country of origin, residence, or nationality of one of the contenders. The resident contestant shall receive 40% as opponent, 60% of the total purse. So both of them making career high purses. Lomach About 25 seconds ago or so. It'll be interesting. Just past the midpoint of the opening round. The right hook of Lomachenko, a big weapon already in this fight. Both of them. You can already tell, some thought this might be just a technical boxing match. Uh-uh, we can tell already, this is gonna be a, this is gonna be a firefight Russell's with got, skill. Russell's gotta mix it up, he's starting to get county. You cannot do that with a guy of the pedigree of Lomachenko. You gotta mix in feints in there, you gotta mix the speed, good body. You. Left hand to the box. Right hook by Lomachenko. And then the jab through the guard of the opening round. And again, Lomachenko catches Russell with a right hook to the chin. Landing combinations very effectively. The straight left throws to the right. He is pushing Gary Russell back and setting the pace. The bell and round at number two. Lomachenko, a natural right-hander, but when he first started, his father put him in the left-handed stance, and he's been a ever since. Meanwhile, for Gary Winkle, face two lefties, both under the World Series of Boxing banner. Russell getting busier with the jab early in this round, and that's important for him. Russell, have of his own. Leaning in, Lomachenko goes to the body. There's the jab and a left hand to the body by Lomachenko. A good catch. The pressure of Lomachenko in this fight, and he's been first round and a half. How much of an impact will it have as this fight goes on? Hook by Lomachenko. High guard by. And that's why he's fighting for a world championship in just his third pro fight. In that second pro fight, official pro fight, he faced everything. Salido was about 20 pounds bigger than him. Uh, Salido fought, obviously, outside the rules, so he faced a lot. We mentioned the fact that Vasily Lomachenko has also toiled for the World Series of Boxing, which he was paid for, and there's been some... Uh, Dispute some feeling that he should be seven fights on his record, but officially for this fight he is one and one. And look, his comments are that you know I fought all amateurs, so that makes no. That's his viewpoint. Either way, he is far advanced, and that would to be fair to him. I, I heard that World Series of Boxing fighters were too remunerated. But nonetheless, he's still the best fighter guy Russell has fought in his career. By far, yeah. And we're seeing evidence of that here. Third round begins. Again, Lomachenko, a double Olympic gold medalist, winning in consecutive Olympics in 2008 and 2012. Uh, three boxers won gold in three Olympics. Cuba. Two fighters threw a lot of punches in round two. Now, rapid fire jabs from Russell, backing up. Has moved forward to try and back Lomachenko up. By Russell. First couple of rounds, look, Russell got off to quick starts and then it was evened yeah. up. Also won Olympic gold twice. He's 4 0 as a pro. and. 
In this fight now, we there's a couple of jabs from Lomachenko. Quick exchange, and Lomachenko with a stiff jab through the... Let's see if Russell can maintain the advantage here this round. He's got Russell up against the ropes. Told him, don't go to the body so much, but that's there, and he wants to throw and those he's punches. he's very effective yeah. with his body work in that 12th and final round. Yeah, very much so. Almost put him down. He makes him the speed on it because it's only a matter of time for Lomachenko. And I think that was a... Two for Lomachenko, and those are solid body punches. Of the third, straight left, utilizing his footwork, now backing Russell up. All right, let's go to Steve. Getting a second consecutive crack at a championship is Vasily Lomachenko, who gets backed up following the piston like jab of number four. To see that and to see the fighters that like, these rounds, while to my eye, lead, I think to kind of pick up the pace here. He's, he's, like he's trying, man. Yeah. Playing. While aesthetically pleasing, uh, Lomachenko, good job of blocking them, and Lomachenko has the more. A reminder that each, each round starts out the same with Russell throwing more and being a little more effective and then Lomachenko coming back. So we'll see if that's the pattern. Gary Russell Jr. with chance of USA. Russell has lost world championships where he won a bronze medal. So he's not used to losing as Lomachenko isn't. Another stiff jab through the guard by Lomachenko. Round number four. Let's take a look at the show stats for total punch for not throwing as many. A, a fight being fought at a very good skill level, which is what we expect from these two men. Tournament, Gary Russell fractured both of his hands in the first fight, yet showcased his steely resolve and ended up winning all four fights and the gold medal. But Al, he's also had hand issues during points of his professional career as he attacks the body of Vasily Lomachenko. Yeah, hairline fracture uh, in his fight against Gusev a couple years ago. They're as good as they can be, you know, and it's the fight. Of the fourth frame, Lomachenko going to the body before attempting to go upstairs. A close round here. Time. Last, last couple of rounds, although close, seeing like Russell has been able to find some better moments to dictate a bit more often. In uh, May, his uh, younger brother, Gary Antoine, won the National Golden Gloves Championship in Las Vegas. The Russell family has produced four sons who have won National Golden Gloves titles. Unprecedented, and of course, now, Gary Russell, as he ate that... Uh, heredity there, isn't it? <laughs> well, their father was hunting accident. By the way, just like George, yeah. and yeah, great hook by Lomachenko, but a nice counter. Compared to the fighters he's fought, he's facing a fighter who boxes, he moves, he's not just coming straight forward like some. Had some better success in the last couple of rounds, but this round he did Lomachenko. Counter, right hand. Head forward. And a, a point, Gary Russell has never been 12 rounds, and we know Lomachenko just went 12 against Salido. Yes. And while Russell is popping out that pistol, the right hand, and there's clubbing blow by Lomachenko. The cleanest offense of the fight being landed by Lomachenko this round. He's really landed some solid shots this round. And now working the body before going upstairs. And it's all Vasily Lomachenko as Russell shells up before countering with a right hook. Good patience shown by Russell. He's trying to, he's trying to catch and shoot. Mm -hmm. As Lomachenko switching the angles quickly. And Lomachenko, though, when he pulls out, keeping his hands up so he doesn't get hit. Yep. And he continues to work the body with his left hand, does this. As we head into the final 15 seconds on this frame, final 10 seconds. And he continues to go upstairs now, working the jab. A great round for Lomachenko. In what was a fantastic round for Vasily Lomachenko, he would land this good straight left hand against Russell. And then later on, as the round continued after doing great work to the body and the head, he rips that right hook after a straight left hand. And Lomachenko showing a great uh, arsenal. And you see there, he is cognizant of that. Exactly. Yeah. He's making the adjustment. <laughs> a quick start again. 
Into round number six, Russell flashing the gen before Lomachenko pivots and goes and resets back to the center of the ring before being backed up by Russell. You know, we see change and changing yeah. the distance. And his father told him to do that. Punches landed round by round, Al. Yeah, and that giant edge in round five. It's honestly, for Lomachenko, he has landed mo a lot of power punches. Right hook. Russell doing a good job of forcing a pace here this round. Cleanly, yeah. it's keeping Lomachenko on the back foot. It's a left hand to the body again by Lomachenko. Russell. Standing cleanly. Now, in this round, Lomachenko hasn't landed much cleanly, but... This fight and help Devin Alexander. Lomachenko also a fan What's of using the ring when he needs... like a pro, correct, Paulie? And a lot of times in spots. Is it left in the sixth? Lomachenko utilizing his foot. There's us. That overhand left. Rough way through this championship bout. Fight of the year, and now we are seeing potential history being equaled as Vasily Lomachenko attempts to win a championship in just his third professional bout with an asterisk, while steady and, uh, well, rather slow rise would benefit him as he wants to win that vacant crown. A lot of punches. Whether they're all getting in remains to be seen, but he's oh. doing some good work. Yeah, the right hook connected. He's less dangerous. Why, Paul, why do you think Lomachenko stopped attacking? Well, I think it's because uh, I think Lomachenko's thinking, he's got Lomachenko thinking a bit too much on deep, get, get a chance to get off the punches he wants to. Take a look at how you have unofficial the midpoint. Well, Mo, it's hard to find rounds for, ironically, the ultimate amateur, and he's doing it with body punching, which does it. And step on the gas a little bit. A lot of time. Under 90 seconds left in the seventh round by Lomachenko. Lomachenko hasn't been quite as effective in the last couple rounds as it was earlier. And see again, a lot of punches being yeah. thrown by Russell, but none of them connecting. The Meanwhile, problem. it's Lomachenko. And hard shots back. Yeah, very and good there's point. a count before. Russell's got to change the speed on that jab. Both of them attacking the body now. Lomachenko going upstairs with that left uppercut. Action picking up here now, under 30 seconds left. Those are murderous body punches by Lomachenko. And I, I love the way Lomachenko changes the angle inside. He, and he, he likes gets, to throw that lead uppercut. He gets inside, he steps around, he gets underneath the arms. He's never standing still, even if he's working in the pocket. Of the seventh round between Vasily Lomachenko and Gary Russell Jr. Lomachenko, especially in the latter part of that round, getting Russell on the rope and Throwing with conviction. Now those are kind of combos that didn't have as much on them as some of the body punch. But later on there, I watch him rip those body punches. And Paulie, he is really uh, throwing those with conviction. Yep, he's throwing with conviction. And you see how he's stepping around afterwards. He's also forcing Russell to move out of there as he's making it clearly. <laughs> Round eight underway earlier. We seen the pro ranks. <laughs> I mentioned earlier that Russ's rounds where we'll see if that body work by Lom Both of them, oh, Russell, as we mentioned, was a medal favors who competed in the same Olympics. Duleya, who both competed in the 2000 Olympics. Two men were in different weight classes. Right. And yeah, Gary Russell said... Yeah, I don't know if I believe that either. And he knows it was him to keep Lomachenko from working. But now, as he's getting more tired, and maybe like Al said, the body punching will take effect late in the fight. But Russell's having a harder time getting off first. Pivots away back to the center of the ring. That was a nice move by Russell. Punches in Lomachenko, and we'll see if that's enough to win him the... Russell landing a couple of good shots. Lomachenko's head really snapped back off well, fight where I say, wow, good shot by Russell, you know? We are through eight rounds of the Stump Up Center. Round nine underway, Vasily Lomachenko, a native of the Ukraine, but trains at CMC Bunya, of course, the most famous Ukrainian boxers, the Klitschko brothers. If you count heavyweight title holder Berman Stibbern, who was living in Las Vegas, and in the process to, again, make a better attempt at getting off. Even if it's not landing greatly, it's at least allowing score at ringside is Mr. Boxypedia Steve Farhood, and that makes sense, and certainly Lomachenko.
gets underneath it when he throws that body shot. I think. Oh, that was a. Well, do that occasionally. <laughs> doesn't always work, though. No, no, it doesn't. Final 10 seconds of the ninth. Good exchange to end the round. Punches the welterweight from Japan getting set to meet Robert Guerrero. That's in our main event right now. We begin round 10 of this 12. Now, informationally, Rump punches more per round of those rounds, or how many? Very lands to get off the kind of offense he wants to get off. In the last three or four rounds, as it was earlier. Throwing punches. And Oh, again, a counter. There's by Lomachenko that was effective and some good body work by the Ukrainian fighter. And there's that right hook, though, lands, and there's some swelling around the left eye of Russell. Stiff jab from Lomachenko. It seems like a lot of times Russell's shots are just arm punches. Mm -hmm. Another body shot by Lomachenko. I Under a minute left in the round. I think he's starting to slow Russell down a bit with the body punches and some of those that work on the inside. You know, there's been moments where Russell seems to slow down, and then he next round he comes right back. So, really good round. And it's been a round where Russell seemed to have started it pretty well. And let me... oh. Another right hook to the chin, but he's, he's starting to look a little bit more fatigued. Oh, no shots that was start a massive. Right hand by Lomachenko as we are headed to the championship rounds. Gary Russell back. Here it would come again. You see another look at it. And Gary Russell thrown backwards. And uh... so we're into the championship rounds. The vacant WBO featherweight title up for grabs. Neither. Lomachenko came into this fight a slight favorite at about... Double jab by Lomachenko. As I pointed out, Russell's been active. It, I can't imagine too many rounds are being scored for Russell, but... And if he doesn't, Lomachenko does get off, and the pro he lands. Right. There's Russell crowding Lomachenko. Lomachenko able to move out of the way before they clinch. Jack Reese allowing them to fight out of the clinch. To show you what a big jump, it was 15-7-2, had lost three of his last fights before the fight, and had been knocked down five times. This and he took the fight on three days' notice. I worked that fight. Oh, fight. very good point. Oh, okay. pan to the body, bet, followed by the left uppercut on the inside by Lomachenko. There's that left uppercut again. And again, it's like we said earlier, Al, the point in the fight now where the body work starts to take, to starts to pay those dividends. Efficient jab by Lomachenko. More uncomfortable these last couple of rounds. Oh, and a right oh. hook. The footwork, the distance, the range, able to avoid the... Oh, the front end underneath the arms now because Russell's offense is slowing down so Lomachenko can get underneath while Russell's throwing. And Russell in a... With these shots while Lomachenko... And trust me, when you're tired, the worst thing you want to do... Final 10 seconds of the 11th round. Exchange on the inside. We're going to the 12th and final round of this championship affair. The efforts that they have seen here tonight again, two of the best amateur fighters of the previous decade. Many herald Vasily Lomachenko is maybe the best amateur fighter ever. And right now, perhaps. And we heard frustration in the corner of Gary Russell from his corner for Vasily Lomachenko and his dad. Lomachenko getting on the inside, firing off the combination. And Russell credit though, he's still, he's still coming forward trying to make this fight here in the last round. And I'm sure he... It has been a, a clean fight. Yeah. Two, two really low, low blows there. Lactic acid building up as Russell. Lomachenko leaning in and Russell firing off that left hand to the liver. Now Russell with a right counter with an effective right hook by Lomachenko upstairs. Strongly, so he's used to this as a pro already from his other oh, fight. Lomachenko's manager quipped the only thing they learned in the Salido. 
And again, so he's, he's got shown it. some real guts, some character, yeah. Hard. And, and displayed skill throughout. Just because Lomachenko might be a better fighter doesn't make Russell a, a, a bad fighter. No. Came in undefeated in 24 fights. Say what you will about his level of opponents. Was an amateur champion at 16, but now Lomachenko in the final 15 seconds. Unloading on Russell. Russell misses with the right hook. But they're both swinging. It's Lomachenko imposing his will and skill on Gary Russell Jr. Terrific performance for Lomachenko. He had seen a lot of Gary Russell's in the amateurs. And a look at the numbers. Uh, Russell busier, of course, but uh, landing at much less a percentage. And so many body punches adding to that power total. That, uh... Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of action, we have a majority decision. Here are the score totals. Judge at ringside, Lisa Jampa scores about 114 to 114, even a draw. Overruled by judges Max DeLuca and Pat Russell, they both scored about 116 to 112 in favor of the winner. And now the WBO featherweight champion of the world, Vasily Lomachenko.